waves popping? Yeah, a lot, yeah. You know we can't start without yeah. the waves popping. Welcome to the pod, welcome back to the Uncensored Couch. Where we give one take, maybe two, three or four this time because we're about to discuss some very, very serious matches. Joining me again is the one, the only, the man from more than one area code, Mr. Joe Bino. So no, What's man. happening? Nah, chilling, chilling. You're back though. again, you're back, back again. 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 You happy? Yeah, mixed emotions. Mixed emotions, mixed emotions. I think we just hop straight into the juice, bro. Yeah, straight yeah, into yeah. the hit. So, very disappointing that actually we have to start with this. It actually wasn't on the plan to start with this, but um, I just feel like, you know, it's the elephant in the room. It's other than our director, David, but it's the elephant in the room. You so, know what I mean? Uh-huh. Yeah, and we discuss it, you know? But I think we have two elephants in the room. Yeah, two elephants in the room. We get to the second one later. Mm-hmm. It could be a much longer podcast, but you know, it is what it is. When it's on, it's on. Yes, sir. When it's on, it's on. Um, so, Mrs. S.A. had a homecoming tour mm. back in L- in the Limps, you know, mm-hmm. in the far north. Back in the oh, 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 oh. You know what I mean? Yes. Go higher, bro. Yeah. So, Shudupazo, Miss S.A., so, so beautiful. Mm-hmm. She went back home and, you know, they are, or they were, or they are, actually. By the time this airs, it might be a thing of the past, but um, they were some unflattering photos of her being shared, you know, of some pretty bad, it was just one photo mm-hmm. with one bad angle. And... It's crazy what can spark tribalism or tribalistic comments, you know, mm. among and it's among us. It's among us. It's among ourselves. And so I feel like we should just head straight into that one, you know. I think I should come out guns blazing and ask you, as well as our lovely viewers, what do you think sparks tribalism in a black man or woman? I just feel like for like tribalism you know, from my uh, point of view is that it just goes down to, it started from racism, Yeah. you know, yeah. and then they'll say, okay, now they divided, you know, blacks into certain groups, yeah. the smart ones, the not smart ones, yeah. and then eventually we, we had this hate towards yeah. each other, yeah. like for example, in South Africa, it's uh, the, the, the vendor people yeah. and the Tsonga people, yeah. not on the back foot, yeah. in Zimbabwe, yeah. It's the Ndebele people yeah. that face tribalism from yeah. the Shona people. Yeah. In Botswana, it's the, the, the Kalanga speaking people yeah. that face the tribalism. Yeah. So, this thing of we belittle people from yeah. certain parts yeah. of our country. Yeah. You know what I mean? And we just do that to make, us feel, or make ourselves feel better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and it's also taught like racism, believe yeah, me. Yeah. If, of course, if, if racism comes from home, tribalism yeah. definitely it does. comes from it, home. It does, it know? does, it does. And so it, 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 it's quite disappointing for me, you know, because like, for me, I just feel like tribalism, mm. it's what really affects unity within the black people yeah. or our, our people. Because imagine how more unified we would be without that tribalistic or the tribalism barrier. Yeah. There, you know what I mean? But I feel like we, as black people, don't know what our power is. Yeah. They strengthen numbers. Yeah. Because look, for example, uh, the beautiful language of you know the Chivenda beautiful language. Yeah. It's connected to Shona. Yeah. It's connected to uh, Kalanga. Yeah. Ne? Tswana is connected to another language in Zambia. Yeah. So we all connected in a way. Yeah. Exactly. We so are the mere fact that we. Want to divide each other? Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Yeah, and also it's rooted from families. You hear, yeah. um, let's say my parents would say, "Oh, yeah, yeah. don't bring a, a lady from this tribe, yeah. or don't, you know." And yeah. it, it comes from my family, yeah. and then I'm then eventually yeah. I tend to develop the hate for yeah. this particular tribe, and yeah. I don't I don't even know why I hate them for, for no particular reason. Exactly, exactly. At all. So one of the interesting comments that I. Uh, read on mm. on social media is that um, then the speaking people and yeah. some of the speaking people in yeah. particular or tribes from the north yeah. rather are more prone to face tribalism from say your tribes from the east mm. still part of the country but you know why though and 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 you know and some people were saying yeah we feel like these people they complain too much then some lady hopped in and she said 
Yeah, but their complaints, so to speak, are valid because these people, they live this, they understand the pain of facing this uh, tribalism on a daily basis. So every time somebody says something yeah. offensive, they are uh, inclined yeah. to think that, you know, it's coming from a tribalistic place. But the thing is, do you know why people from the north face uh, more tribalism? Yeah. It's because people from the north are actually from, are closer to Zim. Yeah. So now check this out. When there's xenophobic attacks in yeah. South Africa, yeah. it's, oh, Zim people, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Other yeah. countries too, Nigerians, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Do you and remember, it, sorry to interrupt, do yeah. you remember the time in Alex where they beat up a guy yeah. and he turned out to be Tonga? Exactly. So now he, I'm getting to that. Yeah. So now the... Uh, Tonga speaking people and Bengal speaking people are close to Zim, yeah, right? Yeah. The Messinas and so forth, yeah. right? So now, after the xenophobia is over, you know who they were attacking? Yeah. People from the north. From, from, yeah, people from the north. Because Cause now there's no one else to bully. Yeah. There's no one else to pick on. Yeah. They've really got rid of all the foreigners. Yeah. Now you're on to the least yeah. favorite. Yeah, and you know, I don't know if, I don't know, man, it's, it's frustrating. I don't know if it's for a lack of education amongst ourselves if it goes back to if you remember in episode one we were speaking about the system the education system yeah, yeah. and how um they teach certain things yeah. so that you know you don't know certain things yeah yeah so if going back to your point earlier if a young person does not know that me being uh if mm. i've got links to the Shona people, etc., yeah. etc. Et yeah. If that was taught and that was known, you're more open-minded. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's you know what I'm saying. True. But I feel as though it's oppression. Yeah. Black people have been oppressed for a very. Black people need counseling. It always goes back to oppression. I'm telling you, it, 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 it always down. goes back to oppression. It's a domino effect. Yeah. Black people have been oppressed. Now we want to pick on the, the next person. The next guy. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And that's all it is. Yeah. We bottle things in and yeah, then it's yeah, like, ah, yeah. I'm better than, you know, the Sutu guy. I'm yeah. better than, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just to make ourselves feel better. And so as, as, as young people, yeah. because this is a show for, to reach out to young people. Yeah. And as young black men, yeah. we, we decided to start this platform in order to say, look, as young guys, we can um be ourselves and yeah. but then we have to discuss the elephant in the room so to speak the social issues yeah but from the perspective of a young person so as a young person how can you go about unlearning um it goes back to what we said in the previous episode yeah loving yourself yeah for example i'll give an example of friends that i know yeah, yeah. um from botswana yeah. um they have kalanga names yeah and then Let's say her name could be Wangu. Yeah. To change it to Wami. Yeah. To to suit. You know, like to yeah. like it's conform. Exactly. Yeah, and then yeah. Changu yeah. also change the name. Yeah. You know, I mean like there's some people that come to the city yeah. and have to use their the English names in order to Yeah. I yo bro. <laughs> I know it. I know Think about it. I know a guy. Cause who, they'll they'll trigger they can't pronounce your name. That's what you yeah. I know a guy who my mother used to work in the northwest for quite some time mm. so she comes and tells the story there's this guy that she, she used to work with yeah she's like um he calls he's benda yeah he sure and this guy she's been around the family he calls his ch- children Butu. so my mom's like why is she calling Butu? yeah Butu. this whole time how did the kid's name is Butu? oh you know what i mean <laughs> So, like this guy, he actually, and it's affecting the child. Yeah. Because the child calls themselves, the, she calls herself Mood. Yeah. And I mean, it's. <laughs> it's a, we have a long way to go, though. Yeah. We have a long way it, to go. It, 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 yeah, bro. <laughs> I'm telling it, you. It's funny, but it's not funny. It's, <laughs> it's funny because it's sad. It's the inconvenient <laughs> truth. You know what I mean? It's, it's the inconvenient truth. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's, 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 it's frustrating. So. As a young person, mm. I know those lines need to be. We need to discuss this, yeah. Uh, because you know, we. I feel as young people, young black people, we've got so much unlearning to do. Yeah, we do. You know, in order to break those chains of and course. those barriers, because now Shudu, our Miss Essay, yeah, she's. You know, this is a victory lap. She's supposed to be. Mm-hmm. She's not supposed to be dealing with such yeah, things yeah. at this time, bro. Dog, she's you know South African. I mean? First things first. 
They're treating her like an outsider. Exactly. And the comparisons to Zozi, mm. uh, Miss Universe, or former Miss Universe yeah. now, they're not warranted. Nothing says compare these two people. They're two totally different people. But I tell you what, Zozi won uh, Miss SA and Miss Universe, right? Yeah. With short hair. So Zozi paved the way yeah. for current Miss SA. So why can't we applaud? Why exactly. Must we, why must now, we uh, nitpick? Because now, if we bashing Shulu, yeah. it's us, you know, diminishing Zoe's hard work. Yeah. She paved the way for exactly. natural hair and exactly. everything. And then now, here comes our current Miss Essay. Yeah. Natural hair. Yeah. Again, it's because of Zozi. Yeah. But now, if we saying stuff about her, that means we're ridiculing what, you know, Zozi has done by paving yeah. the way. Yeah. <laughs> and it goes back to open mindedness. Yeah. Not everybody thinks, people think. People love comparing, comparing. Yeah, yeah. So why did I say comparing? The hell? People love comparing. You know what I mean? And comparison you yeah. know, steals the joy. Yeah, comparison is a steal. Because now people are trying to say, or oh, okay, no, but Zozi was this and Zozi was that. But what you need to realize here is that Zozi walked so that Shudu can fly. So allow Shudu to fly without bringing Zozi. True. You know what I mean? Zozi's been there, she's done that. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's... <laughs>